Hey guys, this is Dylan here again with Jarvis Technology Solutions. Uh, I just wanted to go over a basic network setup um, right here. This is my Site 3 router that I was talking about in another video. Um, I just wanted to take a step back and for those that are brand new to networking, um, if you don't have a physical router, you can probably download Packet Tracer and you know create an, uh, a Net Academy account and get and you use that in order to learn this. Um, but in case you don't know this yet, I just wanted to put this out there so that everybody could see. So right here, this is a Enterprise 3865 router, and uh, I just want to go over the basic setup of it. So right now it's configured, so I'm going to log into it, and then I'm going to erase it. So you know, dir flash, and then right here, so we have the bin file, which is the system image for, that it boots off of, and then I have HSRP lab. Um, that I did a while ago. So I'm just going to leave those there and I'm not going to mess with it except for I'm going to go ahead and do a write erase. So this is going to erase uh, everything in the NVRAM. Alright, and that says complete. And then we're going to go ahead and do a reload. And it's going to take this just a minute to reload. Uh, so the way I'm currently connected to this thing is I have a laptop sitting over there on the desk and I have a console cable plugged into the router and then I have the laptop on my wireless network. So I'm able to team viewer into my laptop and then open up a console session with uh, TerraTerm into the router. Uh, so that makes it easy to uh, manage it over the network. So if you do have to reboot a router you don't end up cutting your whole network connection off um, or you know however, however you want to do that. That's just one way that I do it. So we're going to give that just a minute to reboot. These enterprise routers usually take a few minutes to boot. Um, they've gotten better about it. The 3825 is actually per, pretty uh, pretty old. I bought I bought a few of them just for labbing purposes, just to uh, be able to lab up, you know, different scenarios, different labs, so that I can learn more. So that um, you know, if, if a problem comes up, then I can put into a lab and solve it instead of putting it into a production environment. Uh, I've worked in a couple, several production environments where you couldn't just do things. And uh, <laughs> a lot of people think that you can just walk into any, any environment and just do things. And uh, when it comes to a big network, you can't just do things or you'll end up crashing a network. Alright, so now the image is decompressing and loading. Feel free to skip ahead if you want to. You don't have to sit here and watch it reload. Waiting for an enterprise router to load is almost like waiting for a dial-up connection. <laughs> All right, here we go. So yeah, I hit hit enter a couple times there, so it had already taken that command. Um, all right, so what we're going to do here is we're going to hit no, and we're going to do say yes to terminate the auto install. So we don't we want to do this uh, manually. All right, here we go. being some reason is being a little laggy okay so it's still loading different items okay so right here you'd have down the bottom where it says router 
with a little uh, greater than symbol. So the first thing we're going to do is enable, and that's going to put us into privilege mode, and then we're going to do con configure terminal. I'm so used to doing this shorthand, so if I go very, you know, too fast, um, you know, slow the video down the best you can, or I'll try to slow down anyway. All right, so we're going to do first thing I typically do is do a host name. So I'm going to do site uh, three, and then router, and then I'm going to do give it a domain name, and then Java's lab. And then I'm gonna do a, do a no IP domain lookup. That way, if we mistype something, we don't have to wait for 30 seconds for it to come back or 60 seconds, whichever one it is. And then we're gonna do a crypto key generate RSA. Now I'm gonna do a 1024 to activate SSH 1.99. All right, and now I'm gonna establish a username. I'm going to give myself max privileges, so privilege 15, and the secret's going to be Jowers. And then we're going to go uh, put this on the line console. So the line console is going to be your serial connection. Oh, you might just see him. So line console 0. And after that, you're going to do logging synchronous, so that we don't have a bunch of uh, system messages popping up while you're trying to type. You know, exec timeout, we're going to leave that, we're going to put that on, uh, we'll put that on 30 minutes. And then we're going to do login local, so that way that whenever you go to log in over a SSH connection, then it'll look at its local database for login, login credentials. And then the same thing for the VTY. We'll do 0 through 15. Login synchronous, exact timeout, 30, login local. I apologize if my uh, mechanical keyboard is loud. I'll have to switch out keyboards next time. All right, so from here you do exit, and then you can do log out to test this out. Dylan showers. Okay, so now we just uh, saw where I could do it that way. This is through the uh, login through the console. So now what we're going to do is do a show IP interface brief. All right, so right now it's getting a DHCP address off of my home router. So what we're going to do is uh, manually assign that an address, uh, statically assign an address. So just do a config T and then interface gigabit Ethernet zero slash zero. And then I'm going to go ahead and do it this way. I'm going to do a duplex auto, and then I'm going to do a and I'll do a speed auto as well. So this way it'll auto negotiate the speed and duplex for the connection between the router, between the two, uh, between the switch module and the home router and between the enterprise router. All right, and then we're gonna do an IP address, 192.168.1. And then we're gonna do, this is gonna be 68. And then the subnet mask can be a class C subnet mask. Alright, then we're going to do a shut, and then no shut, oh, and that, and do a show IP interface brief again, and then you're going to see the up up. So now what we're going to do is do a ping, and we're going to ping out to Google DNS. And that's not working. Why is that not working? Because we don't have a gateway. We don't have a gateway last resort, excuse me. So I'm going to do IP, oh, if I, after I go into the GCM. So we're going to do IP route. And then we're going, well, then we'll match it out. So we'll do 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0 over 192.168.1.1. So this means that we are routing out to all zeros through 192.168.1.1. So we do that. All right, now we go back, exit, ping again. There we go. We have successful ping. And this is already uh, the routes are already in place on the home router, so it's able to return traffic. All right, so do a show IP interface brief. 
All right, so from here, you can go ahead and you can set it up however you want to. You can do, um, you can assign IP address directly to the Gigabit Ethernet 01 and have a, you know, a flat network, or you can do uh, sub-interfaces where you can have multiple subnets um, or however you want to do that. Um, and other and my other routers, I'll give you an example. I'll pull this one back up that I did in my last video. So if I do a 1.67, this is my site 2 router, and you can see it's already got a router on a stick set up. So I have multiple subnets for multiple different uh, different you know um, lands. Uh, for different scenarios, and you can get uh, obviously more advanced than this. So this is using a uh, the local database on the router uh, to log in. You can use Radius or TACX server, uh, or whatever you want to use uh, in order for uh, authentication uh, or authorization or accounting. You can set up AAA with these, and so uh, that those will be gotten to in later in later videos. But I just want to show you this is a basic setup for a router uh, to get connectivity. Alright guys, well thank you very much for watching. If you like it, then please give it a like. If you didn't like it, then uh, please let me know why and or leave a comment and um, appreciate all the support.